you finally have the money to get your dream dog. You check online and see a picture of the cutest dog in the whole world. It was love at first sight. You then message the seller for details. The seller is excited to help you out with your questions. You agree to pay the reservation fee because other buyers are interested with your puppy. The seller offers to deliver and sends you pictures of your puppy to prove that the puppy is legit. You buy all the dog essentials and patiently wait for your new baby. Three hours later, the puppy did not arrive and you cannot contact the seller anymore. This is just an example of the many puppy scam stories you'll read online. There are so many variations of dog scams, leaving so many victims heartbroken and traumatized. We hope that this video will be able to help you out when you buy your puppies online. Tip number one. Buy from legitimate kennels instead of individual sellers. Kennels usually have the following. Own Facebook page with followers. They post proof of transactions with other buyers. They can provide sample PCCI papers with their kennel name. Another way to verify is by checking the seller's personal account. Does it look new? Does it have minimal content? Scammers usually shuffle and change their online profiles all the time. If the profile looks newly made without significant information, it may be a dummy account. Tip number two. Ask a lot of questions. A real seller will be happy to entertain all your questions. In fact, they will ask you a lot of questions as well. This ensures the proper rehoming process of the puppy. If they love and care for the puppies they're rehoming, they will ask you about your experience in caring for dogs. Here are sample questions you should ask when talking to a seller. Is the puppy registered? When the puppy is registered, there is a higher chance that the puppy is a pure breed. Do you own the dam and sire? Can you send pictures? From the pictures of the parents, you'll be able to have an idea how your dog might look like in the future. Also, the mating process is usually documented. If the seller is unable to send you pictures of the parents right away, this is a red flag. Where is the puppy staying now? Can you send pictures? Puppies are ideally raised inside an indoor kennel or inside the house. From the pictures, you'll see the puppy's current living condition. If it's not clean, puppy might not be healthy. If the seller is unable to send you pictures of the puppy right away, this is another red flag. Can you send pictures of the vet record? The puppy should have been dewormed at least two times and should have received at least two five-in-one shots before release. Check for the correct breed, birthday and vet signature in the vet record. Some breeders do the deworming and initial vaccines on their own, also known as breeder shot. Make sure to clarify with the seller if the puppy received a breeder shot or from a registered veterinarian. If breeder shots were given, your resident vet will not honor the vaccines and will start afresh with your puppy's vaccines. Tip number three. It is important to check the photos uploaded or sent to you. Were they taken the same day? Same place? Some scammers just get pictures from the internet while some are meticulous enough to collate pictures from a legitimate seller, then sell them as their own. It might help to do a reverse image search on Google to see if the photo of the puppy is posted elsewhere. The seller might send you an ID for reference, check if it looks edited. Some scammers may send you IDs which may be fake, edited or stolen. Tip number 4. One way to erase your doubts is to request for a video call or conduct a kennel visit. This will eliminate your concerns regarding fake pictures, fake seller, and poor environment and health concerns. If the seller doesn't want to do a video call or does not agree on the kennel pickup, again these are signs that you might be talking to a scammer. Again, there are so many puppy scam scenarios. Scammers are getting more and more creative as they take advantage of people who are excited to be fur parents. The following examples are very common online. Bogus seller, will ask for down payment but no puppy will be delivered. Bored bogus seller, will agree to meet up say in a mall but will not show up. Some won't really ask for down payment. They just want to torture you as you wait for a puppy that is non-existent. Impatient bogus seller, will ask for full payment because puppy is on the way. Will manipulate and pressure you since puppy is almost there. Or so he claims. Sick puppy breeder, will send you a puppy but the puppy is not in good condition. Breeder will not take accountability when the puppy is hospitalized or when the puppy dies. Crossbreed seller, will claim puppies are 100% pure. The list evolves. As a dog lover, I know how exciting it is to get a new puppy. It's heartbreaking to know that some people are taking advantage of this. The more people are aware of these scams, less chance these scammers will succeed. Let's do our research and stay vigilant. Please comment below if you know other samples of puppy scams you've experienced or heard of. If you liked our video, please hit the subscribe button. Stand by for more tips and cute videos from the Wolf and Bears family. See you next time.